Suck at your stream. Yeah, it's a bit ultra kill. Play ultra kill. Play ultra kill. Ultra kill. Play ultra kill. It's a bit ultra kill. It's a bit ultra kill, bitch. Que vergas. This is not a review of Ultra Kill, but rather my first impressions of it. Okay. If you are wondering if I'm ever going to review this game, then a hell to the fucking yes, I will. But for this video, I just want to voice how my first experience with this game went. So let's fucking do it, shall we? Okay. But before I begin, let's do something cool. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 likes. If we reach this goal, I'll make a horny Ultra Kill video. Apparently, the Ultra Kill fanbase is incredibly horny, so... Why not? So like this video right now. This video is sponsored by Gamersubs. Use code MIDNIGHT for 10% off your order and free international shipping. Thank you. Ultra Kill begins surprisingly laid back. Like, I was expecting this game to throw me in a room full of demons in the first few minutes of the prelude, but what I got is a quick little tutorial on the basics of how this game's movement works. You can slide, dash, ground slam and wall jump. These four movement mechanics are what make Ultra Kill so satisfying to play. Hablando honestamente, está bien pinche verga. The one thing I dislike about movement is how high your base jump is. I think this game would greatly benefit from a smaller jump height, so that you are able to bunny hop through the arena, build momentum and get crazier kills. But maybe that's just my hundreds of hours playing Quake, Doom and Counter-Strike speaking. Sussy baka. Extreme little detail, but I appreciate the jab animation tremendously. When you throw a jab, you're supposed to twist your wrist inward to maximize full power. This is a great jab in my book. I'm not going to lie, but it took me a while to get used to the controls, games mechanics and map layout. No! <laughs> What? Okay, that, that was my bad. At first, I didn't really know how to chain my combos to get even further on the style meter. And the game doesn't explain you how it works. But the more I played, beating levels, bosses, and unlocking more weapons, the more the game resonated with me, if that makes sense. And the better my gameplay became. As of the recording of this video, I only have three miserable hours of playtime. So I do not consider myself to be a good ultra kill player. I am really digging the direction this game is taking me. Al Chile está bien pinche verga. As you guys know, I am a huge fan of Doom and Devil May Cry. I've been killing demons with the gracious, impeccable style since the early 2000s. This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. Wait, you can parry projectiles with your jab? Yeah, I'm fucking loving this already. Another thing I like about this is that your starting revolver doesn't become irrelevant even after getting through half of the game. Not like another pistol I know of. Boo, you stink! In actuality, I find myself using the revolver most of the time in comparison to other weapons, and I really do not know why. Well, actually I do. Each weapon has an alternate firing mode and different variations of the gun. The revolver has piercer mode, which charges a big shot that pierces through enemies dealing a fuck ton of damage. And Marksman throws up to 4 coins into the air. And if you shoot those coins, they will ricochet into the nearest enemy they can find. 1, 2, 3, 4, bam. That's the way I like it. 
In other words, está super chingón. The idea that you can deal damage by shooting coins in the air is just so fucking stylish, and I love it. So far, I have unlocked the revolver, shotgun, nail gun, and rail gun. A worthy collection to kill demons, am I right? The Doomslayer would be proud. Each one of them has at least two different mods to equip, and you can decide whether or not you want to equip those weapon mods to fit your own playstyle. And that's the thing I've been digging with Ultra Kill. I can approach each encounter however I want. Of course, this game is all about racking up those style points, so using all the tools to your advantage in the most gracious and badass way possible is definitely what you want to do. Also, the more points you get, the more style points you get, you can use those same points on the store to unlock more weapon mods and other cool things. Oh, I absolutely love this song. It's so relaxing, so 1930s, so aesthetic. Weapons, revolver. Marksman. Press alpha to throw. Oh, this is the coin one. I'm gonna buy it. Let's go. Correct me if I'm wrong, please, but prolonged airtime and continuous sliding multiply the points you get up to three times. So the game rewards you by staying in the air or sliding continuously. If you play like the angel of death, you're going to do significantly better. I'm a simple man. If a game is all about getting the most S ranks possible, you can bet that I will try my darn best to get the highest score these hands can achieve. Normalize having more of this in modern video games. It adds a ton of replay value, in my opinion. Now, one thing that took me completely by surprise was the lore and narrative. I didn't know this game contained actual context as to who you are playing as, what is happening, and why you are descending into hell. Some parts of the lore even affect the gameplay. You are B1, a robot that needs blood to stay alive. The only way to recover health in this game is through soaking yourself in the blood of your enemies. That's fucking metal. No pun intended. Okay, so this game has like lore? God damn. If that's the case, I can I can definitely see myself doing some lore videos in this game. Leave a like if you want lore videos on this game. And that's another thing I like. Unlike Doom, where you can recover health by picking up first aid kits scattered through the arena, or simply by killing demons, Ultra Kill kicks you on the cock and states that the only way to recover HP is by not being a cobarde de puta mierda and get up close and personal with your enemies. This means that when shit hits the fan, it really hits the fan. <laughs> the biggest challenge I encountered in the 3-4 hours I played this game was the V2 boss fight. Pongan la música, que pedo? Ah. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait. Por qué está está tan difícil? What the hell is this? A claw? What for? Oh shit, man! 
Boah. Boah. Yeah. Fighting a being that has the same abilities as you is just so new blood to me, if that makes sense. Besides the main campaign, Ultra Kill offers a different mode named Cybergrind, a place where you can practice until you do not want anymore. You can choose which wave you're starting and customize the whole arena to your liking. You gotta be kidding me. Really? A day big grid? I'm a lean bitch. What the fuck? Ultra Kill is filled with personality, something that a lot of modern games miss, and that's one bit I can really get behind. If I had to describe Ultra Kill in a few words, I'll say Ultra Kill is like sex, but angrier and sexier. Thank you for watching this video.